can't slow down. She's got decent aim and plenty of arrows. A strange symbol glows marked on their flesh, and something within you stirs in response. Hold up, lads. This one might be more we bargained for. Go on, then. Just keep your nose clean. lies before me. for an ogre, you notice a peculiar dagger protruding from the tough, leathery meat. You yank the dagger free leaving a narrow slit behind.
One day I'll catch a break. I ascend. Better get to work. I'd care to experience twice? Oh, I've seen worse. Gnomes can be... Ugh. Time to press ahead. to fly. Stop this thing! <laughs> Flap those wings some more and I'll feed you a worm. And you. Hope you got a stomach for rights. What's it bloody look like? We're teaching this here pipsqueak to fly. You want this little cave lurking what's it? Find your own. He's ours! As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. The goblin's nostrils flare as if trying to judge you through smell alone. We're leaving. What about the gnome? Ain't we supposed to bring him to... I said we're leaving! There's plenty of sport and rich pickings out there for us. All right, then. Fresh meats. Scared meats. Yeah. Ugh. 
Baga Kamara. Those pustulant thugs. Well, get on with it. Whatever you are. As expected. Coercion by the book. Take my pack, if you can find it. The only reason those goblins caught me was its weight. I'll travel lightly from now on. Ignorance is alive and well, it seems. Deep gnomes aren't restricted to the Underdark, you know. I've lived in Baldur's Gate for years. I'm in search of a friend. I fear he's in trouble. See this? I gave it to him years ago before I left home. I found it around the neck of a thug in the lower city. It was speckled with blood. My friend, nowhere to be found. But I still have hope. I have reason to believe he's in the Underdark. Hopefully, I'll pick up his trail from there. I always help my friends. On that note, <clears throat> I bid thee farewell. If we should meet again, well, we will have met again. Shadowheart's attention is fixed on a damaged old statue. We... we should keep moving. I... I don't know exactly. Lady Shah, protect me. It felt oddly familiar, but I don't know why. I saw something that reminded me of my faith, my mission. I felt something rise within me like my blood was on fire. Then it passed. That's all I know. It's stopped now, whatever it is. Let's just carry on. Let's see what this does. Don't mind if I do. Moonwitch rubbish. 
How much time did some dim-witted artisan waste on that? work to do. At least things have stayed interesting. Time for some bloody work. Let's not touch those webs or I'll end up as a meal. Something didn't like that.
about talk. I've been looking. Make way. What path lies before me? if the gods are watching me.
on the move. Swift as my feet can carry me. That will fit in my pack. What's hiding here? I do not know this name. If you are known to my master, step forward and declare yourself an ally. There is a pause as those glass eyes take you in. Then... up for discussion. The book is locked tight with no visible keyhole, only an oval recess in the cover's mouth. You try to examine the book, but the longer you stare, the more those piercing amethyst eyes draw you in. You can sense something dark about this tome. Something profane. A cursed book. How obvious. 
Whoever opens it deserves the fate that befalls them. Curious. Why don't you take a closer look? I'll observe from back here. That looks terribly heavy. Why don't you let me carry it for you? The faded ghost Missing of... children. Maggie Terrence, Marcus Terrence, Mathen Deach, Rochelle Kirk. Absolute, or any god. I follow two masters only. Gluttony and greed. The goblins understand my appetites. They sate my hunger for gold. And the rest sate my hunger for meat. Boss goblin give gold. We check brand. Good deal. No talk. I am, by all accounts, a student of higher commerce and extortion. Make me an offer. Tempt me. A brilliant notion, and a boon to my aching belly. We have a deal, my tasty kibble. Take my bone horn. One blow, and the ground will quake with my family name. 
Use it when the need arises, and never a moment before. Ogre kill everyone around, then Ogre eats them. Well spoken, indeed. Ogre kill everyone around. We follow the sense of blood and gold to all lands fertile, friend. And this land proves particularly fruitful. We will keep close. When you are ready, sound the horn. That's curious. Tiefling's corpse stirs with the spell. You realize the Tiefling's body has been torn open by huge hands. El Torel, Zoro, friend. Ogre. to avoid Githyanki hunters. Let's have a look. Tonight, you can't chase the thoughts of that poor girl you killed from your head. You wonder what she looked like as she died. Squirming, skewered in abject agony. barely complies. You feel such rushes from your thoughts of the dead woman. Why did she die? The mystery gnaws at your pounding heart. Me lord, jubilant day. I have found your vile self at last. Scaleritas fell. 
your loyal and ever adoring butler. I followed you, my dear rotted master. We have been parted so tragically long. <laughs> I had heard of my lord's indisposition, uh, but I'd hoped the rumors were untrue. No matter. We will get you back to committing five villainous acts before breakfast in no time. I found you following the stench of that bard. <sighs> She reeked across the coast like a piece of dog mark on the road. Such fine work could never be done by a wretch like me. Anyways, I come once again bearing a part of your dreadful inheritance. You earned this iniquitous prize through your great show of exceptional violence the other night. I'm sure Master will be better soon. A fellow of your fine breeding is never down for long. <laughs> I cannot wait until your next act of shameless barbarity. <laughs> oh, it was wonderfully disgusting, wasn't it? Be true to yourself, my lord. <laughs> 